Okay, this is absolutely crazy. I just did a video on how the the particles in space are the only reason we have weather here on the surface because we're impacting them. And Elon Musk just put up a bunch of satellites and they got impacted hard and pushed them back to Earth and, and destroyed them. All right, this is right from Elon Musk. As far as I know, here it goes. Slid out of orbit. According to the company's online update, up to 40 of the 49 tiny satellites launched have either re-entered the atmosphere or burned up. A geomagnetic storm, they said, made the atmosphere denser, increasing the drag on the Starlink satellites and thus dooming them. Ground controllers... All right, this is the key. What is coming out of the sun? They say there's nothing in space, it's a vacuum. That's crazy, absolutely crazy. Solar wind, solar particles, solar storms, electrons, light. I don't know how big the particles are coming out, but I can tell you what, there's a lot of stuff coming at us from the sun. And that is what we were scrubbing into. And what they said was there was a storm that said, hey, a whole bunch of stuff come when it normally is, you know, uh, you know, we're pushing out a bunch of particles, everything's good, all of a sudden, boom! And that's what hit his satellites when they were trying to stay in orbit and they pushed them down. Because it was just too much of an impact of particles against them. It's push to shove. That's all it is. Alright, here's what happened to Elon's satellites. Normally there's just a certain amount of push to shove, and push to shove, push to shove. Every now and then there's a little extra. And we get certain weather patterns because of, you know, a little bump here and a bump there. But this was a push. And he just dropped, dropped off his satellites right as the push came. And they said, go down. And by that time they're down so, so low that they don't have that buoyancy anymore and, and they fell to earth. By the way, Elon, I hear you use a lot of electricity. I think I can help you out. This is just light from a very cheap red pulse laser. This is light accelerating. Yes, it accelerates. And yes, it is a particle. And yes, that particle is a dipole. We're seeing it accelerate right now. Obviously, I think Elon's smart enough to see that acceleration. Now, what are we seeing here? We're seeing the particle that accelerated. And why did it accelerate? Because of a Venturi. And the Venturi is right there. And what does that Venturi do? That splits the light right here. It splits it. It turns that the black particles go around and the white showers go through. And here is precisely what Fermi Lab, CERN, and all of the big guys are looking for. And we did it. Turned that black ball and the white ball into just a black ball, big gigantic black ball. And it does not get any bit smaller than that. That's it. See them? They're all the same size. They're all the same size and they can't get through that tiny slit. We got a tiny, 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 tiny slit there. The field can squish down and go through the white. The black cannot. So what can we do with that, Elon? Here's what we can do, buddy. We can power your cars. All we got to do is put a laser in there, put that Venturi in. I've got some engineering. I know how to do this, I think. Um, and then we can collect it in some kind of a solar harvester, run it through your car batteries or whatever you want to use it for. And it'll be portable. You can put it in a little handheld shoebox. All right, get a hold of me, Elon. We can do this, buddy. And, and I, have a, I have all the information on this. And I can show you that particle, actually why the white s s squishes through here. And here's why the white squishes through. It's because it's, it's squishy. <laughs> you see the little one and the little bit bigger? The black doesn't change. You saw the black balls. They do not change. All they want to do is hug up to a white one. That's all their mission in life is. And you see these little white particles down here? I don't know if you can see them. Now you see them? That's what, that white pushy part, which is the, uh, they call that the electron neutrino, is b banging up the other electrons that are attached to all the gas molecules. Because that's, that's uh, light going through the air. And this one's diminished. And then once that charges up enough, bloop, it'll flip to the back. This one will come to the front and it'll do the muon wobble. Wobble, 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 the muon wobble. And all we got to do, Elon... I'm telling you, you guys got to, I know you must have two or three people sitting around doing nothing. Get a hold of me. We can get this done. In a week, you'll be pumping out free energy, my friend. And this could make a whole different thing for the entire world. Firstly, everything is about energy. All right?
Kabish, get a hold of me, my friend. I'd love to speak to you.